Hey guys, it's Jen from JCat's Creations, and today I'm going to be showing you a very simple and easy wreath to make. This one is called the Bubble Method. Um, as with every other kind of wreath you can make, um, I'm sure there's tons of different ways to do this particular type. So today I'm just going to be showing you the way I make mine. Um, it's actually really simple and easy in the sense you don't need a lot of supplies and um, the supplies you do use you don't need that much of. So to get started I will be using uh, this is a 14 inch wreath frame from there we go from the Dollar Tree. So this was just a dollar from the Dollar Tree. So you'll need one of those. I will be using a roll of 21 inch deco mesh. I had already used a little bit off of this, um, which is fine for this method, actually the way I do it. I only use about half of a roll, so um, you know if you've got one that you've already used a little bit, you'll still have plenty. This is uh, navy blue with royal blue foil in it. It's actually a really pretty color. So I'm going to be using that, and that I got from Craft Outlet online. I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description below so you guys don't have to worry about remembering everything. Uh, you will need a pair of scissors, <clears throat> excuse me, pipe cleaners, and then these are the ribbons that I chose to use for this. You could obviously use whatever you want. Um, I will be using actually a rose gold. This is a navy with, uh, it's like a champagne gold, it's a little bit lighter, which I thought was pretty. And this is just a sheer champagne gold. And those are the ribbons that we will be using for this. But like I said, obviously use whatever you want. So to get started, I'll just clear this out of the way. I've already got a frame that I started with the pipe cleaners so you guys can see what I've got going on here. So the Dollar Tree frame has six sections on it. As you can see anywhere there's a crossbar to a crossbar that's called a section. It has six sections. In each section I will be putting three pipe cleaners. Now the ones in between the three I cut these in half. The ones that I'm putting on the crossbars, I left whole. So um, it will be 18 for all of the sections, which means that you'll need nine whole pipe cleaners, cut those in half, plus you'll need an additional six for the crossbars. So that's a total of 15 pipe cleaners. So I already did most of it, just to um, get this going a little bit. So I'll just show you guys how I put them on and how to uh, get these placed. So since we've got a crossbar here, I'm only using the two rings here in the middle of the frame. And I'm just going to go kind of cross it through there. And then just tie it. A little twist there. That's it. I don't use hot glue on this one for the pipe cleaners. Um, it's okay if they slide around a little bit. It's not going to make that much of a difference. And actually, you do want them to slide a little so you could just kind of get them where you want them. Once you have the mesh in and going around, they're not going to go anywhere. And one more. So just like that. So that's what it'll look like when you've got all of your pipe cleaners on there. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the roll of mesh. As I said, it's 21 inch mesh, 10 yards. Get out of my own way here. So I just take it and just kind of scrunch up the end. Just where it's, you know, little bundle like that, you got the end of the mesh. 
and then I start on one of the crossbars, doesn't matter, just pick one. And I lay the mesh down in there, this little end here. And just secure that in for now, give it a few good twists. Just like that. So that's how it starts. Just get your end in there. So with these, um, you know, I basically look at the bubble wreath as a smaller version of a poof wreath. If you're not familiar with that, I do have a tutorial for the poof style that I will put down below in the description box. But it's basically just kind of smaller poofs, which is why they're called bubbles. Now everyone will measure their bubbles a little bit bigger or smaller. It's really up to you depending on what you want. Um, when I kind of, you know, decided what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted a finished wreath size of 18 inches and um, the height on it is only like three and a half to four inches so it actually fits in between two doors really nicely. So in order to get to those measurements I decided to come up with bubbles that are six inches and if you don't have any kind of a measuring tape or ruler or anything like that a really quick and easy way to have measurements. You have another half of a pipe cleaner because a normal pipe cleaner is 12 inches long. You cut one in half and then um, I just use this as my guide. See, I just go from the tie there to the middle here. And that's how I know how long to make my little bubble. Um, I do fluff them all out as I go. I know some people don't some people do it's totally up to you I just like to make sure that they're all even and I have enough coverage on either side of the frame since the bubbles are a little bit smaller I just want to make sure that I have enough mesh going over each side so that's it I just kind of play with it fluff it up a little bit get it into my pipe cleaner that I've got there. Now if this is a little too small for you, pipe cleaner to work with, feel free to just use full size ones all the way around. It's totally up to you. And then just give that a few twists. Now the only places I'm going to be putting the ribbon are on the crossbars with the longer pipe cleaners. So for the rest of them as I go along, I just twist it all together like that and then just kind of fold it, you know, tuck it down. It's not going to wrap all the way around to the back if you're using the half, which is fine, but it's enough you just push it down and just kind of hides it. And then that's pretty much all you do for the whole rest of the wreath. I'll show you guys another one like that. Get a little stuck on your pipe cleaners. But just pull it out, um, you know, same as I said with my poof wreath, it's, it's not too tight, it's not too loose. It's just kind of a regular tension that you pull it out. And then I just use my little pipe cleaner bit here. Get your measurement. And make the bubble. Get it in there. Get your twists and that's it. Just tuck it down. And that's going to be it for the whole wreath. So it'll be three bubbles in each section. And then you have the one on each of the crossbars. So I'm actually going to go and I'm just going to finish the rest of the wreath because it's pretty much just repeating the whole thing. And then we'll just get into um, 
blue ribbons, how much I used, how long I cut them, and all that. So I'm going to finish this off, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I am back. I have pretty much the whole wreath done here. i just give you guys a quick idea of what it looks like. Like I said, it's just basically mini poofs. That's why they're called bubbles. So what I did, I actually saved the very, va very last one to show you guys. I know a lot of times people want to know, you know, how do you end it? You know, what do you do? So I'm just going to leave the pipe cleaner here that I used to tie off the beginning part. And at this point, I'm just going to measure my final six inch bubble. That with the pipe cleaner now normally I mean on other wreaths I, I will untwist this and then put them both in there together um, I didn't leave a whole lot of a tail when I first did it so that's why I'm not going to untwist it and I'm just going to put this last bubble on top of what's already there if you've left a little bit of a longer tail you can untwist it and then you know just stick the other end into it Sometimes I leave a longer tail, sometimes I don't. It doesn't really matter, honestly. So I'm just going to make my final little bubble here. And I'm just going to go right down on top of pipe cleaner there. And then when I add the ribbon, I will untwist this one, you know, so it's not kind of sticking up a little bit higher than the rest of them but just to kind of show you you know if you don't leave a whole lot of a tail like I did don't worry about it you know just go over the top there's plenty of room here when you're using the full pipe cleaner and then we're just going to give it a few good twists down Then we're just going to cut so this other new little tail that we made I'm just going to take and I just kind of tuck that under the bubble there on the other side and then afterwards, you know, you can always go and kind of zip tie these down too, just to make sure they're a little more secure. But that's pretty much the basis of getting that part done there. So, and then you could just kind of, you know, like I said, they'll slide around a little bit, pipe cleaners, because we didn't glue them down. So if you kind of, you know, notice a little bit of a gap somewhere, you know, you can kind of slide them and, and squish them together a little bit, you know, as you need to, to just kind of fill everything in. I also wanted to show you guys quickly before I go on to the ribbon. I know a lot of people prefer to use zip ties instead of pipe cleaners. I'm a pipe cleaner person. They're a lot easier for me to work with. I did make one the other day with zip ties just to make sure you could do it just as easily. Um, so this was another simple one I made. It was just gold mesh with some Christmas ribbon. And as you can see on the back side, I did use zip ties. And then I did end up going in and using pipe cleaners when I attached the ribbon just because it's easier for me. But I did want to show you guys that if you are more of a zip tie person, then it works just as well with that. No worries. So get that one back up. Okay, so now for the ribbon, I'm going to use the three that I showed you in the beginning. I've already got all of my strips cut. I have the rose gold, sticky, glittery, very, very glittery, this one. This is from Sam's Club. Last year and the year before, I think, I'm not 100% sure if they have it again this year, but this one's super pretty. This is a Sam's Club from uh, years ago. I'm not sure that they have this one anymore. And this sheer champagne gold one I just actually got from BJ's.
wholesale club the other day. All the club stores will sell, uh, sell the Christmas ribbon. Um, you know, they usually have the same ones for a couple years in a row before we finally get to see some new stuff. But they, uh, you know, it's always a good price for what you're getting and it's always nice ribbon. So each of these I cut 10 inches long. And I'm going to be putting four pieces of ribbon into each tie. I normally use a minimum of three, sometimes four. Um, it's up to you. And I always do um, the little V cut or chevron, whatever you want to call it, on the edge. And I'll just show you guys quick how to do that in case you've never done it before. I'm just going to do two pieces together makes the whole process go a little faster if you could do more than one at a time and then you have your folded side in and cut up and that makes your little V so that's that So I decided to go um, rose gold with the navy. I have a thing for rose gold and I try to put it with everything. Um, it does actually complement a lot more colors than I think most people realize. And I do consider this to be like a Christmas winter sort of a theme. So um, I just thought the rose gold would be kind of a nice pop to it. So I'm just going to pick one of my twists. Open it back up. And then the ribbon, what I decided, I played around with it a little bit first. So what I decided I'm going to do is this navy with the champagne, since it's very sheer, just to put it over that, you know, kind of blend a little too much. So I'm just going to layer it over that one. And then I'm going to... crisscross. Now you can do this however you want. Some people put each piece in separately. Some people, you know, kind of stack everything like that. And then once it's in the tie, they'll separate everything. Uh, you could do it the way I'm doing it right now. It doesn't really matter. You know, whatever works for you guys is fine. That's, you know, the whole point. It's just whatever works for you. I'm just showing you guys what I do. So I just kind of make a whole like crisscrossy thing there and then scrunch it up in the middle. Give it a couple of twists. And then just fluff them all out. Make sure everything's where you want it to be. You like what you've done there. So I said, these are 10 inch strips. Um, if you don't want them as long, you can cut them like eight inches. If you want them a little bit longer, you could go 12 inches. That's totally up to you too, whatever you want to do with that. I usually just kind of spread them out a little bit just to make sure I'm liking what's going on here. But um, I, think, I think the rose gold is a nice pop of color against the navy. So what I do with these is I'm just going to wrap it around to the back. And then you see I've got the ends back here. And I'm just going to tighten that up and give it a few twists. You could either, you know, tuck this in underneath or you could just cut these down, whatever you want to do. get it out of the way for the moment and then that's that so I'm just going to go and finish the rest of it like I said it's only six places on this wreath I've done one so I've got the five more to go and then um, we'll be done I'll have it up on the wall and we'll see what we think so I'll be right back Okay, so here it is with all of the ribbon on. 
So it is done now. Uh, as I said in the beginning, it does measure about 18 inches in diameter and about three and a half to four inches deep. Um, so as I said, it will fit in between two doors very nicely. So I'll just get close up so you guys can see. And I kept this pretty simple, you know, it's just mesh and ribbon, but if you guys wanted to add any kind of, you know, other embellishments to it, that's totally fine. Um, I pretty much just wanted to show how to make a smaller and, you know, fairly simple wreath, but it's still really pretty and really nice. So I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.